What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel, Sports Life and Politics TV, where today we'll be going over a clip out of Phoenix, Arizona, where a man was driving a car and hit a bicyclist and killed him and then decided to run from the scene. Let's take a look at the clip. A Buckeye man is under arrest, accused of hitting and killing a bicyclist and then leaving the scene. Police say Fernando Ramos was driving a pickup. And folks, this is a real human being. You are not you are not at a carnival. You are not looking in the funny mirrors. This man not only smuggled himself into the country, but he's also smuggling butternut squash in his jawline. Unbelievable. Truck on Saturday when he collided with a 60 year old George Cooper who was riding the bike. The wreck happened near Jackrabbit Trail and Beloit Road in Buckeye. De deputies pulled over Ramos about nine miles away and took him into custody. And let me say this if his foot and ankle looks anything like his jawline, this probably was a complete accident. He probably put his foot on the accelerator and God knows he couldn't lift it off. My goodness. This man looks like a human Buddha statue. Unreal. Custody, they say Ramos was not impaired, but was going around 60 to 45. Records show his he has a history of arrests. And hey, like I said, they said he was not impaired. He looked like he got one of them cankles. That cankle accidentally hit that accelerator. He couldn't get that cankle off of there, and he mowed a man down. God rest that man's soul, RIP to him, whoever he was. But he never stood a chance in hell from the Mexican job of the hunt. Hey man, hit that like, hit that, hit that subscribe. I just took y'all ass on one hell of a funny mirror ride. Peace.